Hi, it's Andrew McLeod again, the man behind Why Slow Down the Travel Blog. I've got another travel tip for you. It's about rental cars. And could you ever imagine getting a Mercedes SLK 250 convertible for $20 a day more expensive than a Toyota Corolla? And if you could get a Mercedes SLK 250 convertible for only $20 a day more than a Toyota Corolla, would you do it? Well, this is how, and I'm not entirely sure why it works this way, but it does. So I was spending four days here in Honolulu, and I was quoted by my travel agent around about $500 for four days with a Toyota Corolla. So I jumped onto the Hertz website, Hertz Australia, because I'm from Australia and that's where my travel agent's from, and sure enough, that's how much the Hertz car would have cost, and the Mercedes SLK 250 I just happened to see available was $2,000. Now, there's no way I'm paying $2,000 for a hire car for four days. But here's a little trick. Did you know that hire car fares can be much, much cheaper depending on where you go? And if you doubt me, go to a website, vroomvroomvroom.com, vroomvroomvroom.com, and plug in a car for a week or two somewhere. And there's a little box there that says, what country do you live in? And change that country and compare the fares. Because if you're in the US or France or Australia, the cost of the hire car can be radically different. Same car, same airport pickup, same person pick, you know, picking it up, the only difference being where you live. So, when I looked at these quotes, I went to the Hertz website and I logged into my Gold Plus membership, which I do recommend, and there's a little button on the top right hand side of the Hertz website to say select country. So I unclicked Australia and clicked the US and I went to the US Hertz website, to the US Hertz Gold Plus site, and I clicked on one of the specials they had. And that very same SLK 250 dropped to $580 in price. Only $20 a day more expensive than the Corolla. So here is the travel tip with hire cars. When getting a quote, adjust the country that you say you're resident in, and that can radically change the cost of a hire car. In this case, the SLK 250 dropped from $2,000 to $500, simply by choosing which country you live in. This is another travel tip from Why Slow Down by me, Andrew McLeod.